Today I'll show you how to make 50 pieces chemical free veggie cubes cheaply and quickly. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do it now, you'll help me a lot. Hello, my name is Victor. I warmly welcome you to my kitchen. Today I will show you the entire process step by step. Let's start with the first one. Everything must be washed thoroughly. As you can see in the video, we peel the vegetables. Then carefully cut into small cubes. We will need these vegetables. 6 medium carrots. 1 large leek. Some parsnips. 5 medium turnips. 2 medium onions. 6 cloves of garlic. 1 kohlrabi. Half a celery root. All the leaves of a celery. A handful of parsley. A teaspoon of turmeric. 85 grams of salt. When using a knife to cut vegetables, safety is paramount. Always use a sharp knife. Dull knives are more likely to slip and cause accidents. Place your cutting board on a stable surface to prevent slipping. Hold the knife with a firm grip. Remember, good knife skills enhance safety, aesthetics, and cooking results. Let's see what we can use these little veggie cubes for. If you want to make a soup quickly, you just take out a few cubes, throw them in the hot water, add whatever you want and the delicious soup is ready. You don't have to go buy vegetables, peel them and cook them. It's ready for you, clean and chemical free. You are cold, would you like a hot delicious drink rich in vitamins and minerals? Just heat a glass of water, throw in a veggie cube, mix thoroughly and it's ready. The cold may disappear by tomorrow. Do you feel weak? Would you take a bunch of vitamins? Leave the chemicals behind. Make a hot energy drink from your own vitamin cube. You know what's in it because you made it. Are you going to the gym? Or did you just come from there? Drink a hot veggie cube drink. Support your body with rich minerals. You can tell your friends that you make the chemical-free veggie cubes yourself at home. You will surely succeed with this story. Don't forget to share your experiences with us later. I will try to answer every comment. If you feel it is necessary, wash the chopped vegetables again. Prepare a pan of suitable size with a little sunflower oil. Turn on the stove on high. When the oil is hot, add the chopped vegetables. Fry for a few minutes. Please write in the comment, where do you live? I was always interested in where you watch my videos from. Then add 85 grams of salt. You can add the chopped garlic here. If necessary, add a little water. Reduce the power of the hob to two-thirds. When the vegetables have released a little juice, cover them. Steam for eight to 10 minutes until all the vegetables are soft. Stir it a few times, making sure it doesn't burn. You still have time to drink a coffee in between. That's what I'm doing right now.
Now is the time to add the turmeric. A teaspoon of turmeric is enough. It would be best to add fresh turmeric, but unfortunately I don't have it right now. You have to let the turmeric permeate the vegetables for a while. We'll be done soon. While I drink the other half of my coffee, please press the like button. And if you have any questions or opinions, write them to me in the comments. By doing this, you help me and others a lot, so that the algorithm can continue to work. Carefully transfer the veggie to the other bowl. And this time, I quickly soak the pots so that the turmeric veggie pulp does not dry on them. The pot quickly discolors. It's already done. You can turn off the stove. We need a bowl into which we transfer the cooked vegetables. And a tool for crushing vegetables. I will be using a KitchenAid mixer. But any similar shredder works fine. You have to mix until everything is completely mushy. Then we place baking paper on a tray or baking tray. Place the veggie paste on top, almost an inch thick. We smooth the top so that it will be easy to cut into pieces. If we are ready with this, then the whole thing can go in the freezer for a day. It should freeze completely. It is important that the veggie does not stick to the knife when you cut it into cubes. If you try this method at home, please come back to this video and write in the comments how it went. A day has passed, I am back in my kitchen. Put the vegetables together with the baking paper on a wooden cutting board. Cut to the desired size with a sharp knife or pizza cutter. I now have 50 small cubes. We packed up all our little cubes. I usually put them in a plastic box and it can go back in the freezer. Whenever we need it, we just take out a few cubes and the delicious soup can be made. A cube makes us about a mug of soup. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next hopefully useful video. See you soon. Have a delicious dinner.